Greetings and welcome back to Eric Mealtime. Today we're at a Japanese style family restaurant. Let's check it out. Starting out with the appetizer course and some hot sake. Oh, it's really hot. Ooh. <laughs> and cheers to you, team. Get some. Mmm. Wow, well, it's got a citrus taste. I like this one. Not too sweet. Very soothing as it goes down your throat. Mm. Okay, and we've got the standard here. Edamame boiled soybeans. Oh, they're cold today. So hot sake and cold soybeans. Not even tasting any salt on these. Mm. Just a hint of salt. Typically, they're really salty. Wow. Mm. Nice and fresh. Definitely on the large side. Uh, mm -hmm. well, beans, beans. Mm. Appetizer number two is fried. It looks like octopus, but this is squid. Squid legs. Mm-hmm. And let's see, the secret drawer houses the chopsticks. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. Very nice. It comes with some lemon and mayonnaise. Looks gorgeous. Definitely, this is the best way to eat squid legs right here. Deep fried. Deep fried. Oh, they feel pretty soft. You don't want them overcooked. But definitely that mayonnaise. Oh, add that creaminess. Mm. Oh, cooked to perfection. That breading on here is really delicious. I mean, these could be onion rings. For that, it's that good. Yep. Mmm. Oh, juicy. Mmm. Oh, it's good. I'm just gonna have some tea, it looks like. I'll have some hot tea. Yeah. Is that water? Oh, yeah. This is the tea here. Maybe we'll have some coffees later. It's just kind of like mixed drinks right here, all with sugar added. Yeah, kids stuff, you know, slushies. Mm. So I get some slushy, melon soda slushy, may as well. It's all you can drink, so. Try some of this, the melon. That'll be plenty. Next up, we're gonna be having the Kikyo set. It's about $24. The drinks are included, soft drinks. And then there is a total of about 10 different dishes that come. So here's the first three right here. Start out with the slimy, shall we? Yeah. It's all about the texture in Japan. Yep, you gotta try the different textures. So, wet slimy seaweed, here we go. Wakame. It's 
it's nice, a bit on the salty side. It's chilled, it's not fishy. Some okra here, difficult to pick up with chopsticks because of the slum. Mm-hmm. What is the white here? <laughs> Unknown item. It's good, not sure what it is. Okay, so the chunky white item here is called Yamaimo. It's a potato, slimy potato. In the center here is an egg dish with some daikon radish and is that cilantro? Just destroyed it. Okay, how's that? I gotta get some of that. I think that's cilantro. I'll let you know. It's gonna be a big bite. Mmm. Chilled egg. It's got a nice flavor, but I prefer it hot, I think, scrambled egg. And this dish here is called kiriboshi daikon, daikon radish and carrots. It's in a sweet sauce. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Fine. The next course has arrived right here. The next course is a sukiyaki nabe course. Gorgeous looking sukiyaki beef right here. Yep, it is cooking. The nabe hot pot is boiling. Got a lot of meat in here. Definitely generous meat supply. I like that. Yeah. So we need to prepare the egg wash for the sukiyaki. Mm hmm. So yeah. Yeah, it's important. Beat the egg. The egg wash, the egg dip. That's it. That's how we do it. for the sukiyaki. Oh, that's a lot of meat. Goodness. Definitely get some of the soup here as well too. Some tofu. Don't forget the tofu. All right, that should do it. Nice and hot, we're gonna go right in for it. Let's try it without the egg wash first, just with the natural soup. in a very sweet sauce as sukiyaki typically comes in. So sweet, tough fish kind of meat, <laughs> sliced very thin. All right, let's put it in the egg. Into the egg wash it goes. Better. Mm -hmm. So what else have we got in here? It's like a carrot. Some komatsuna spinach. Mm -hmm. Some konyaku string potato. I'm tasting lots of sweet sauce. That's what this is. Sukiyaki. Goes pretty good in the sweet sauce. Oh, it's tasty. It's like a dessert if you drink the soup. Oh, that's good. Next up is the sashimi platter. Four different types of fish. Looks like we got Thai here, Thai fish, and squid, maguro, tuna, and salmon. Okay. 
Let me show you the show you. Mm-hmm. Soy sauce. We're gonna go clean wasabi today. Clean wasabi means don't mix it with the shoyu. I mean, you can if you want, but some people say the pure way to eat a sashimi is this way. I keep them separate. Mm. Can't go wrong with tuna. Yep. It looks like you get two pieces of each. Pretty generous for a set. So I've lost count already how many dishes this is out of 10, but I will have it listed in the video description so you can check it out if you like. Oh. Wow. That is really creamy squid. <laughs> and do not put wasabi on the squid. I always do, or sometimes I do. It just, oh, it magnifies the the powerfulness of it, if that makes any sense. It, the, the potency gets stronger, whereas a fish like this or this makes it more tame. Yeah, if that makes any sense. Okay, making a mess here. Salmon. Oh. Wow, that's some fatty salmon. Very fatty. And then we'll try the Thai. I forget what Thai is in English. I'll put it in the description. <laughs> or somebody help me out in the comments. Typically this is the fishiest of them all. That's why I saved it for last. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's pretty good today. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to try some of the other things that are on the plate. A little bit of seaweed action. Mm -hmm. She's so mint leaf. Good stuff. Next up, we've got Kare Flatfish. It's looking gorgeous. It's in a sauce. Is the sauce boss? I'll let you know. Mmm. The bones are definitely not boss. Mm-hmm. Stress with the skin here. The sauce is very sweet. Like a syrup. Mm. It's a very tender fish. It just falls apart. Look at that. Wow. Let's try it with some of the skin here. All skin. Oh boy. It's a really delicious fish. You just gotta be careful of the bones. Mm. Very flavorful. Got some okra here. Slimy okra. And we'll wash it down with the melon soda slushy. Oh, creamy melon soda. Oh, I should have got more. It's just so sweet. Ugh. Boy. An ice cream flavor to it. That's good. A melon float. The next course is the tempura course. It's looking fabulous. Put the daikon radish into the sauce and we'll start out with the shrimp. Oh, yeah.
<laughs> it's a rich sauce. Mm. Nice flaky tempura. Got some nice crunch to it, as tempura should. Thinly sliced squash or pumpkin. What do we have here? Okra, I think. Mm hmm. Mm. Some mushrooms. A couple different types, it looks like. Mm hmm. It's mushroom or fish? Eggplant. Mm -hmm. Pretty delish. So we wash it down with some Fanta orange soda. It's an orange soda slushy float. It's got ice cream in it. Oh, it looks good, doesn't it? Oh, so good. Orange float. Good stuff. Oh, some of you have been asking, so why is it that I tilt the glass over my head when it's done? It's to prove or show that it's empty. That's it. That's all there is to it. Silly, right? Okay, and finally, the last three dishes. These are all served together. So you got the rice and the miso soup and some pickles. <clears throat> One, two, three. Some people like to put the pickles on top of the rice, mix them, which is fun. It adds a bit of crunch and flavor to the rice. Mm -hmm. To me, it makes it difficult. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pickled rice. And the miso soup. Make sure you stir it up. What's it got in it today? Seaweed, of course. It's like some foo. Mm-hmm. Sometimes the seaweed, it sticks to the side of the uh, bowl. some tea. All right, I think there's one more course. We have made it to the dessert course. And what do we have here? Hmm. It's like a pudding. Matcha pudding squares or something. Mousse, perhaps. Is this coffee jelly on the bottom? Not sure. And this is kuro mitsu right here, or black sugar, black sugar, black sugar syrup, and I think that's coffee jelly on the bottom. So go for all of it. Yeah. Okay, going in for the dessert. Coffee Jello. Uh, wasn't what I expected. And the black sugars. Uh, it's like it's a burn. This is good. The matcha mousse, I guess I'm gonna call it. That's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. How about the matcha mousse? And some cream mm -hmm. but this coffee jelly right here weird it's 
got like a, an odd kind of foulness to it, sweetness. I don't know what it is. It's too hard to describe. It's just weird. Pass. All right, let's wash it down with some black coffee. That is tasty. This is the way to finish a meal. Or we got a little bit of sake left. How about this? Sake is good, definitely good. So there it was, the Japanese family restaurant. This is a chain restaurant of stores by the Skylark Company, which is very popular in Japan. So uh, they're around. I'll put the information down below as to the items that I had to eat today and the prices. And I want to thank you guys for watching. <laughs> and what else do I have to do? Rate this meal on my rating scale. I'm going to go five out of six today. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I look forward to reading your comments. See you next time.